Us. Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Hayashi. Welcome to Hayashi Dojo in Mannheim, Germany. Another karate video lesson for my students. The topic this time is the Rei Shiki, uh, the formal bow in or this uh, ritual that we have at the beginning and ending of traditional uh, karate trainings and is, is universal to all Budo. It's as well universal to all of Japanese society, actually. Uh, the lining up, the sitting in order of rank, the style of bowing, um, this all dates back 800 years. Uh, a brief history. This stems from the Ogasagawa, Oga, sorry, Ogasawara Ryu. <laughs> I couldn't even say it in English. Ogasawara Ryu, which is the official uh, school of etiquette when it comes to Japanese uh, culture, and it's also the official uh, group which organizes important events for the imperial family, the Ogasawara Ryu. This was founded in the 1200s by Naga Kyo Ogasawara as a school of military training for the samurai soldiers. One of his uh, descendants uh, in the 1330s 1330s, yeah, was uh, Sadamune Ogasawara, or the first name first, Ogasawara Sadamune, uh, was then the official minister for etiquette uh, and manners for the Shogun government and was responsible for teaching everything from how to ride a horse, how to dress, how to eat, to all military personnel. His great grandson, Nagahide Ogasawara wrote the first book on the subject. As a descendant of the Ogasawara Ryu, he became the official uh, expert on the topic and wrote the book Sangi Ito in the year uh, 1380. Yeah, 700 years ago. In 1380, he wrote the Sangi Ito, which was the first book written on the subject, which stated in detail rules of how to sit, how to address people, how to uh, greet people of, of various rank. It, it, it dictated all areas of life for the samurai. In the following centuries, this spread out through the nobility. And then after the Meiji Restoration of 1868, when the classes were abolished, the samurai became normal citizens with the same rights as everyone else. The Ogasawara Ryu became popular as a school of, of etiquette and manners and was taught to all of Japanese society. And you will still see this today in traditional or formal events. So, let's start at the beginning. The very first thing that happens in a traditional keiko, or training, is soji. Soji means the cleaning. Uh, students will then take towels, will then clean uh, the floor, of the dojo by hand in a position like this. Okay, now glide the towel across the floor. Once the floor is clean, the beginning of the reishiki is signaled when the sensei or the instructor of the school takes his position at the front wall, the kamiza, on the center line of the front wall, which is called yokoza, that means the center place or the center sitting position. Traditionally, this yokoza middle line, center line of the dojo, is also where the kamidana, shinto shrine, is located. So you can see it here. Okay. The instructor then stands facing the shrine. The most senior group member then calls out the, the com command seiretsu. Seiretsu which means to form lines. They then line up in order of rank, and then uh, you can come a little closer and look uh, from the side. I'll just turn a bit to the camera so you can see what I'm doing. The sensei will sit first. The senior student will call the command seiza, which means to sit. They will all sit. Then comes mokuso. Mokuso means to meditate. 
Everyone closes their eyes, they clear their minds, and they become mentally prepared for the following trip. We try to leave the outside world, outside of these walls, until the end of training. Moksoyame means the end of the meditation, we open our eyes. Then comes Shomenni Re, which means to bow to the front. Literally translated Shomen simply means to the front. Ni means in that direction. Re means to bow. All bow to the front, uh, but symbolically it is to the to the Kamiza wall or in, in the traditional case, uh, Kamidana. All bow. The teacher would then turn and face the students. I'll do that. There, there's nobody in the room, but I'll just show this. Then comes Sensei ni Re, which means bow to the teacher. Us. And traditionally, the students, to be polite, would say the word onagai shimasu. Onagai shimasu means please. In this context, it means uh, please teach us. Uh, and a polite response from the sensei would also be onagai shimasu, which means please do your best or try to learn. The third bow is otagai ni re. Otagai means all present to each other, ni re, the group. We all salute each other. What a guy need, right? Us. And then, tate. And then we begin uh, training. Now, at the end of training, it's identical, but we add one more element before uh, the three bounds. We sit, mokso, mokso yame. Then comes the dojoku. Uh, these are our five ground rules or fundamental regulations for behavior within the dojo uh, setting. The first being hitos, jinkaku kansei ni tsutomuru kuto. That means uh, I shall endeavor uh, to perfect my character. Hitos, makuto no michi o maoru kuto. How would you translate this in English? I shall be faithful and sincere. He told us, Doryoku no seishi no yashinaru koto. I shall endeavor or give my best in all aspects of what I do. He told us, Reigi o omanzuru koto. I shall be respectful to others. And the fifth one, He told us, Kekki no yo imashinu koto. Which means, I shall avoid unnecessary violence. Or, I shall try my best not to lose my time. At the end of that, come the three bows again. Shomeni re, we all bow to the front. Sensei turns. Senseni re. Us. The students generally say, Arigato gozaimashita. Arigato gozaimashita means thank you very much. And then the third one to the entire group, Otagai re. Us. Sometimes there come some last words from, from the sensei, and then the command to stand up is tate. And then one last standing bow closes the training. Us. Um, and in Japan, I, I quite often heard the phrase go kurosan, or in the more polite way of uh, expressing the words, go kurosama deshita. Which I often say to my students, so they used to be doing it. Hey, us, o kurosama deshita means thank you, everyone, for your for your efforts. Okay, so that is a, a brief summary of our reishiki, the traditional uh, greeting and closing of our trainings, which is attached to uh, the Japanese culture. Thank you very much.